Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is multiplication patterns with decimals. Let's go ahead and get started. So our, our uh, question here is how can patterns help us place the decimal point in a product? So we're going to be multiplying by 10 and multiples of 10 and divisions of 10. And here we go. Andy is uh, combining equal sized rectangles to put tile down on her kitchen floor. Each rectangle has an area of 0.75, and remember this is, uh, this is in the hundredth spot, so 75 hundredths of a square foot. If she uses a thousand uh, rectangles to complete this job, what will be the area of the floor? So we're going to be multiplying 0.75 times a thousand here, so we're going to use patterns here. So here we go, so one times, oops, there should be a decimal right here, one times 0.75 is um, I don't know what happened to that decimal right there. 1 times 0 0.75 is uh, 0 0.75. That's easy enough right there. 1 times anything is itself, okay? And then, uh, so uh, 10 times 0 0.75 is we move that decimal over one place to the right, okay? So this goes right here, so it's 7.5, okay? So if we multiply it by 100, 100 times 0 0.75 is we move it two places. So it, go, it started right here. So it goes 1, 2, so it's 75 right here. So 1,000 is we're going to mu multiply it three times, you guys. So three times, it starts right here, and it goes 1, 2, 3. So we had to add this 0 right here, so it's 750. Okay, so the floor will have an area of 750 square feet right there. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see, so I fixed all of that. So uh, as we multiply by increasing powers of 10, how does the position of the decimal change in the product? Well, remember, it just moved that decimal place to the right the same number of times we multiplied by 10. So think of 100 as 10 squared. Well, squared is like 2, so it goes two places to the right, okay? Let's go back to that real quick, you guys. Um, uh, right here, there's three zeros. That means the decimal moved three places to the right. When there's two zeros, it moved two places to the right. When there was one zero, it moved one place to the right. So it moves it to the right when we do that, okay? All right, so um, uh, place value patterns can also be used to find the products of numbers uh, in the decimals of, uh, this is one-tenth right here, okay? This is in the tenth spot. This is in the hundredth spot. So this would say one hundredth, okay? So one-tenth and one hundredth, all right. So here's an example here. The Sears Tower is a skyscraper in Chicago, Illinois that stands at 1,451 feet high. So for a project, Belinda is making a scale model that is one one hundredth of the actual size of the building. Now remember, this is one hundredth right here as a decimal right here. Okay, so uh, how tall is the model right there? Okay, so what we're going to do is multiply uh, 1,451 times uh, one hundredth, which is the same as uh, 0 0.01. Okay, so there's that skyscraper. I just enlarged that right there. See how big that building is? And that's in Chicago. Uh, Illinois right there. Okay, that's the Sears Tower. Okay, so there's a problem. I just moved it up. So what fraction of the actual size of the building is the model? Well, it's this fraction right here. It's uh, 1 one hundredth. So write that fraction as a decimal. Okay, so that's going to be 1 hundredth. So this is the tenths. This is the hundredth spot. Be careful. Don't do it uh, this over here. This would be the thousandth spot. So this is the hundredth. So remember it starts here as tenths and this starts as hundredths right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, look for patterns right here, okay? So 1 times 1,451 is just 1,451. We didn't move the decimal. When we multiplied it times 1 tenth, it moved it to the left one spot right here, okay? So when we multiply it by 1 one hundredth right there, 1 one hundredth, uh, is going to be, uh, it's going to move it two places to the, to the left right there. It's going to be 14.51 right there, okay? I don't know what happened to this guy. It disappeared in that last one there. So um, uh, so let's answer the question here. So that is 1 one hundredth of the 1,451. So Belinda's model of the Sears Tower is going to be 14.51 uh, feet uh, tall. That's a pretty tall model. You know, I'm six feet tall, and uh, uh, it's over twice my height. So that would be, you can, you'd have to be a tall like a gymnasium or something to put that in. Okay. As we multiply by decreasing powers of 10, how does the position of the decimal change in the product? Okay. So when we multiply by powers of 10, it moved it to the right. But when we multiply it by DC decreasing powers, here's a one-tenth that moved it one place to the left. Here's one one-hundredth that moved it two places to the left. So what happens is, is it moves it to the left on that. Okay. 
All right, Juan is comparing numbers. He begins with 45.75. He wants to compare this with 100 times as much and then compare it with a tenth as much. So what are these numbers? Okay, well, all right, so 100, we're looking for 100 times uh, 45.75, and we're looking for one-tenth of 45.75. Now, the trick is this, you guys. When you multiply by 100, you move it that many places to the right. Okay, and when you multiply it by one-tenth, it gets moved, um, uh, this is one place over, so it's going to move it one place to the left. What they'd like to suggest uh, to look at some patterns here, so so 1 times uh, 45.75 is just 45.75. So 10 times that, one place to the right is 457.5. 100 times that is going to be two places to the right. So it's going to be 4,575. It gets moved over two places to the right. Okay. And then uh, again, um, uh, 1 times 45.75 is just that. And then so when we multiply it by... Uh, 0.1, it makes it go to the left, so it's 4.575. Okay, easy enough, huh, you guys? All right, so let's try this. Let's complete, complete the pattern here, okay? Now, remember, um, anything to the 0 equals 1, and if you don't know that, that's okay. This just says move the decimal that many places, okay? So I'm going to move it uh, 0 places. So this just stays as 5.63. This says move it to the right one place, so this is going to go right there. 56.3, okay? This one says 10 squared is 100, so this is going to be two places to the right, so it's going to be right there, 563, okay? This one's going to be three places, so three places to the right, we're going to have to add a zero in there, so it's going to be 5,630, okay? Sorry about it, I didn't put a comma in there, because there's supposed to be a comma after every three digits, and I, I just forgot about that, so anyways, it should be 5 comma 630. But it's still 5,630. Okay, so 52 times 1. Well, that's easy. Okay, and then when we multiply by decimals, this moves it one place to the to the left. Okay, so it's going to be 5.2. This one's going to be one two places. Think of this as one one hundredth, and one one hundredth means we're going to go to the left two places. So uh, 0.52 right there. Okay. All right, you guys. Don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Take care.